the first person to accurately describe the motion of falling objects was Galileo, who lived between 1564 and 1642. Up until the time of Galileo, it had been believed that objects fell at a constant speed after being released, and that heavier objects fell faster than lighter objects. This belief was based on the teachings of Aristotle, who lived from 384 to 322 BC. Based on both thought and practical experiments, Galileo proposed that all objects fall with a constant acceleration due to gravity, and that all objects fall with the same acceleration due to gravity, provided that the resistance of the medium through which they are falling is negligible. Galileo's most famous thought experiment involves throwing two balls from the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. He asked people to imagine two objects, one lighter than the other, and these two objects were tied together with a piece of string. The two objects tied together with the piece of string were dropped from the top of a tall tower, such as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. If, as Aristotle had believed, heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects, the string should pull taut as the lighter object slows the fall of the heavier object. However, if you consider the system as a whole, that is the lighter object and the heavier object tied together with a piece of string, that system of objects should fall faster than the heavier object alone because by tying them together you've effectively made them into one object which weighs more than the heavier object does alone, so it should fall faster. This is a contradiction, and according to Galileo, this contradiction means that the assumption that heavier objects fall faster than lighter objects must be false. Galileo also carried out practical experiments involving rolling heavy balls down inclined planes. The inclined planes allowed the timing of the motion of the balls using the technology of the time, because it is much easier to time a ball rolling down an inclined plane than it is one in freefall. There are various reconstructions of how Galileo may have timed the experiments and these involve using bells and pendulums or water clocks. The apparatus illustrated is based on one such reconstruction, and involves rolling a ball down an inclined plane with a series of movable bells arranged along it. The motion of the ball is timed using a pendulum. The ball is released when the pendulum is at one extreme end of its swing, and the bells moved so that each time the pendulum gets back, to its original position, it passes and rings a bell. The distance between the bells can then be measured and acceleration due to gravity assessed using trigonometry. At the end of the last Apollo 15 moon walk, Commander David Scott performed a demonstration for the television cameras. He dropped a geological hammer and a feather at the same time, and in the video, the two objects can be seen to fall at the same rate. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer. But I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. The feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Well, I'm not that proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. As the moon has almost no atmosphere, the resistance of the medium to the fall of the two objects in the video is negligible. The hammer and the feather can therefore be seen to fall at the same rate with the same acceleration due to gravity as was predicted by Galileo. 
Weight and mass. Mass is the property of a substance that exerts a gravitational force and is subject to gravitational forces. The strength of the gravitational force exerted either on or by an object is directly proportional to the mass of the object. Weight is the name we give to the force of gravity exerted by one mass on another mass. So mass is the amount of material that's present and weight is the force due to gravity on that mass. As weight is a force, it's a vector having both a quantity and a direction and it has the SI unit of newtons whereas mass is a scalar having only a quantity and the SI unit for mass is the kilogram. Summary all objects fall with the same acceleration due to gravity on the surface of a planet, regardless of their mass, provided that the resistance of the medium through which they are falling is negligible. Mass is a property of a substance that exerts a gravitational force and is subject to gravitational forces. Mass is a scalar and has the SI unit of kilograms. Weight is the force due to gravity experienced by a mass and, as it is a force, it has the SI unit of newtons and is a vector. Thank you for watching.